This is 7 News. You can count on us. Ten years ago tonight, a plane carrying ten members of the Oklahoma State University basketball program crashed in Colorado and killed everyone on board. Will Hancock of Hobart was one of the victims. He was an assistant with OSU Sports Information Department. The team had just played a game against the University of Colorado in Boulder when it crashed in a field 40 miles east of Denver. This week, the university remembers the ten who died. 7 News reporter Garrett Cry went to Hobart today to talk to some of Hancock's family. Garrett. Guys, Will's dad, Bill, and his mother, Nikki, now live in Kansas City, but several members of the Hancock family still live in Hobart and still operate the longtime newspaper there, The Democrat Chief. They say the day the plane went down is one they'll never forget. This is the front page of The Hobart Democrat Chief, the first issue published after the crash. You can read the headline, Will Hancock dies in OSU plane crash. That's heart-rending enough, but incredibly enough, Will's own father, Bill, wrote the story. Bill's brother, Todd, Will's uncle, remembers it all. Uh, of course, you know, the first the first emotion is shock. Is it, No, that couldn't have happened. That's not, and, and it was just, you know, very traumatic. And He says he was very bright and talented, but more than that, a good guy. <laughs> well, he was very, very musical. Uh, he and his brother both were very talented. Will played in the band at uh, in high school, and I believe he even played in the band when he went to the University of Kansas. After he graduated from the University of Kansas, he married. He had just married in 1996. Uh, Will married Karen, and she was the soccer coach at OSU. And so really that's how he came to be at Oklahoma State. Then Will landed a dream job working in sports. A love of sports was in his blood. That's, that's all he knew. As a sports information assistant for the basketball team. And he was in charge of their media relations uh, publicity guy. And he traveled with them everywhere. Including that fateful day in Colorado where the plane went down. Of course, there's a memorial at the crash site. And uh, I've driven by there several times, and I bet I've stopped you know, eight to ten times. He says the first time he visited, the song The Sounds of Silence came over the radio, one of Will's favorite songs. And that was just eerie. It was just like he was there with me. And uh, uh, it's a really emotional place. Uh, and it's out, in the, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's just a cold, high plains, tumbleweed I've place. And uh, it's really a sad place to think that that many lives ended so tragically. Todd says Will's daughter was born just a few months before the plane crash. She's now 10 years old. Todd says the family will keep Will's memory alive just for her. And coming, coming up later this hour, 7 News Sports Director Dan Seed will have more from last night's ceremony at OSU's basketball game, including reaction from then-head coach Eddie Sutton.